Hey guys, how's it going? Tonight, we're gonna have the best tacos in all of Medina, Mexico, according to Pablo. All right, so we're gonna go check it out. Like, tell me, where are we gonna go? Let, us, let everybody know. Uh, we're going to La Chilanga. Okay. Real Mexican style tacos, and they're the best in Merida. I, I don't need to, you know, I don't want to offend Yucatecan, but the best tacos are in Mexico City. And this is the real Chilangos made it. Chilango oh. tacos. Oh shit, all right, well, let's try them out, man. I can't wait, I'm excited already. So you already know what's up. I, I want to try some new food and definitely some, some, some Chilango tacos. Yeah, I mean, these are from Mexico City, right? Yeah, the name is La Chilanga, and yeah. All right, fuck yeah, all right, man, I'm excited. I don't know, are you excited? Always. Yeah, we're, we're very excited, all right? What do you like about the Mexicans? Tacos. Get some tacos. Muchas gracias. <laughs>
they're gonna let us know where this place is, okay? So this is the guy that runs the place. So tú eres el señor, ¿verdad? Esto es tuyo, ¿no? Esto es tuyo. Tú eres el jefe aquí. El empleado. Okay, okay. He's uh, the guy in charge. ¿Y a dónde está ubicado? ¿Dónde está ubicado el lugar? Francisco de Montejo, calle 51, por 54. Okay. Francisco okay. Montejo. Okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, more exactly uh, the bottom link, all right, with the, in the comments and stuff. Pero estaba muy rico todo. Sí, gracias, uh, gracias. Yeah, this is the best one right here. All right. We'll do a little recap later, and I'll let you guys know, all right? All right, so we just got back, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We enjoyed the tacos. They were beyond amazing. I was, I was able to record a little bit of uh, sound, uh, you know, talking to the guy. I'm sure you guys already saw it. There was a lot of music because they there was not only music playing at that restaurant, but there was music playing from a restaurant across the street, and there was a lot of music playing. But regardless, um, I was able to get a lot of really cool footage, and again, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And please, if you want some of the best tacos in Medina, well, that I've had so far, definitely go to that place. I'm gonna go back. The whole bill, the bill came out to 220 pesos, okay? And he had, uh, to, like the soup, what was the soup called? I had the consomme especial with meat inside. Okay. And then I had the uh, two tacos of uh, chorizo, uh, longaniza con suadero, de lengua, y que mas? Um, de cachete. 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 So he had uno de, he had one of uh, cheek, one of tongue, by the way, they're delicious because they're like the most tender parts of the meat, like of the cow, and they're beyond delicious. Look, I don't like the intestines. I don't like other parts of the, the you know, like what else, like the liver. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of any of that. But if you like like roast beef and you have lengua, man, you can't like, it's like the, the lengua is like the most tender roast beef you'll ever have. It's really, really good. So like imagine like made into a taco. Amazing. And then cachete, again, it's just cheap. So it's just like, you know, this is really, really soft and really good. And, then, yeah. and it's amazing. It's like the best part. These, those are like the, the best parts. And the free broth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, you know, and so, and um, they gave me a little thing of free broth. What he just explained was the broth, the beef beef broth, which is consume. the consume, the consume with little pieces of beef. And uh, and it was delicious, you know. I thought, again, you know, he has it all the time. I'm going to be having it all the time now. Um, and again, everything came out to 220 pesos. So literally, it was consume. He had four tacos. I had six tacos. So that's 10 tacos, all right? And um, some of them were specialty, meaning they were a little more expensive. And the consume and everything. And, and two Cokes, all right? For 220 so that's again uh 12 dollars right give or take and then with the tip it came out to like 15 dollars all right we get you know we gave them a couple extra bucks if they were cool whatever it was awesome right i don't know i don't know what we gave them but yeah we're gonna go with 15. <laughs> anyways the point is it was awesome it was great we had a wonderful time and um, please please check them out okay they were really nice really friendly really receptive i'm gonna leave all the information to the restaurant down below so you can please check them out and um, and enjoy some of the best tacos of Merida. Now again, this is not Yucatecan food. This is food from? Mexico City. Mexico City, okay? And um, and what was that thing in the round? The, so the thing that was inside the round, uh, um, you know, cooking thing, you know, because those like, again, I'm gonna show a little bit of the video as I'm talking here, but um, um, of all the things, you know, the one that was in the biggest roundest thing, where the one that you saw him preparing tacos, okay? The look, yeah, because um, there's, sorry, you know, I'm talking all over the place. I'm just so, um, what is it, uh, high with food. That's right. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, but yeah, the, I forgot I filmed it. The, the guy that was making the tacos, um, what was that taco? That was the one that I ordered. That was suadero con longaniza. Say it again, suadero? Suadero con longaniza. Okay, and so longaniza, is that, did they have that in the north part? Or is that like a special, you yes, like? Yes, it's like in special, you can take Okay, okay, so that's what I thought. Yeah. So, so the longaniza, that's like the my favorite, you know, um, one of my favorite dishes out here that comes from Valladolid. Yeah. Right. And um, and uh, that's where they make the longaniza and then they, may, they bring it out here. But if you want to have the best, you go to? Valladolid. Oh no no! You go where? There's another you restaurant. You go to Valladolid. They, oh. they they do the they, they make the the longaniza there and they, they bring it here. Okay. But the best place to eat it is with a taco de suadero. 
Okay, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And um, and that's it. I mean, you know, again, that taco was a specialty dish. You know, it was a mix of uh, the north, you know, Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula. And uh, and again, you know, it's a must try. It's a it's a must have. You know, go to and uh, and the tortillas. They were even made uh, with like blue corn, so they're homemade. So homemade. Let's. I, I knew they were good. I knew they were, they were homemade blue corn tortillas. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it there already, but yes, again, you know, I forgot to tell you. Everything was beyond amazing. The salsas. The salsas. They had all kinds of salsas. Salsas with like uh, onions and uh, pineapple. They had like really, really spicy habanero. Finally, because you know me, I'm always telling you guys it's not so spicy out here. But they get really, really spicy. They had a really good chipotle one. They had uh, what else? You know, um, yeah, lemon. No. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, you saw you you saw the accoutrement. You know, that was uh, played out for us there. And uh, yeah, it was again, it was just amazing. So please check them out and um if you like this content um let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think is the best what will you try you know what i mean and uh well, what's your what's your favorite mexican dish all right and uh let's just uh you know let's uh, leave it in the comments and uh we'll you know continue the conversation and uh that's it all right guys thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share Please hit that bell icon. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to all the contributors out there. And uh, and that's it. <laughs> all right. Ah, sorry. You know, we keep getting like SD Carter. We keep getting like stupid errors. Uh, I, I hope the, some of it got recorded. But anyways, what's your place again? Yucatan Transitional Services. Okay. And uh, earlier today, we recorded a little something something. I know you're probably wondering who Pablo is. So Pablo is a friend of mine that, you know, we met through, you know, just the YouTubes and Facebook and all that stuff. And he actually, you know, he has a service out here. Um, and not just do I have a service, but I got my friend over here that has the service of, uh, what do you do? Yucatan Transitional Services. Uh, I co-own with my wife a company dedicated in, you know, to help all the people moving from the United States to Merida. And we, don't, we set up houses, rentals, buying the schools for kids. Also, you know, the, all the paperwork with the, with the government, we take care of all that. Look at that, that's awesome. So again, you know, just for more information, just reach out to me, you already know what to do, and we'll put you in contact with him. You know, for a lot of you guys out there that, you know, are looking to move out here, you know, and uh, you need more information in the sense of, well, not more information, you guys are looking for like the big deal, you know, like, I uh, meaning like, uh, if you wanna move out here, you wanna move your whole house, right? So yeah. you help out with you know like the big big stuff you know i helped with the small stuff he helps with the big stuff all right so don't worry all right guys again just reach out to me and uh you know we're just building a network out here to help you guys get out here all right so all right now let's go get some of those uh chilango tacos oh wait wait a minute actually you already watched the you know what i mean we just came back from eating some chilango tacos they were delicious right yes all right, there's a little bit of Hollywood magic. All right, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's show because <laughs> we enjoyed making it. So, all right, peace out. Anyways, uh, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and uh, we'll see you guys manana, all right? And hey, Pablo, thanks for an amazing night, all right? We had the best fucking time, all right? Awesome. Fuck yeah, all right, we'll see you later. <laughs>